everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Earthbound. Last time, we saw the Runaway Five live at Topola Theater in Foreside. And learned that they are one million dollars in debt because they have to keep outdoing themselves with each performance, don't you know? We heard that we'd have to dig up buried gold in the middle of the desert in order to save them, so we came to the desert to do just that, because I'm an optimist and I believe we can do anything. This time! Wow, there are a lot of present boxes that I can't open. I need to use more items in my inventory. Hey, look, things to expend items on. Ha! <laughs> I insta one against three of them. That's kind of funny. Personally, I like to think that the mad ducks are down here because of these thirsty coil snakes, where the thirsty coil snakes are able to make their home down here because there's some sort of inexplicable duck nest that they're able to feed on. Maybe it's a little bit pessimistic, maybe it's a little bit nasty to think about, but it's kind of the way that I've always interpreted that. They can at least agree that they hate us enough to become allies for a short enough time that they can try to take us on. At the end of this corridor... My strength falls between the second and fourth strongest masters. Do you want to test me? This is the third number three that we have found. Paula? You do a freeze beta? Jeff? You do a big bottle rocket. I wasn't kidding around when I said that those things are basically insta wins against bosses. 540 damage! I think that might have been an insta kill on its own. I mean, it's not guaranteed. It is based on your luck stat if you even get any damage at all, but you're seeing how astoundingly good that is in luck capsule. You bet that's going on, Jeff. Heck yeah, heavens to Betsy. Why would I not do that to anyone else? I can't remember the last time I heard anyone say heavens to Betsy. Ooh, platinum band. That can go on the arms. Oof. I want to know, how much defense do we have on everyone? That was 107. Paula's got 67. Ness has got- Ness has the least defense out of everyone. I- I know that that's what happens when you give items to the other characters because you were worried about them needing it more, and I know Ness has more help, but sheesh. The Noose Man is an enemy that I cannot believe got past the censors. They are kind of a strange enemy. They like to bind on you. Mad Duck fell down. Mad Duck makes things, but Teddy Bear does not have any PP. This fight's going kind of funny. I guess we'll play a game of Duck Duck Noose. Maybe the noose man breaks the necks of the mad duck so the thirsty coil snakes don't have to work for their dinner. Yeah, they bind you and they also have the ability, I think they drop an item that immobilizes as well. I don't remember off the top of my head what, what item they drop. On the way back, there is a bomb inside the present, but we have too much stuff to be able to even carry said thing. Paula, don the calorie stick. I know what you're thinking. I probably should throw away that equipment that I'm not gonna use, but I wanna sell it because believe it or not, we're going to need a lot of money going forward. Money is gonna be tight in the not too distant future. So I wanna hold on to that. I wanna be kind of a stingy little boy. There's a secret herb inside, but he's got too much stuff already. Oof, all right. Uh, that would cure a status ailment. So that is good to remember that that is there if I need to get rid of poisoning for one reason or another. Uh, got rid of those enemies. I'm trying to be stingy on multiple fronts because Paula's only got 24 PP left. She only has a couple more uses of that nuke and then it's gone for good. Unless I want to use a PP restoring item, which actually I probably should. I'm truly the third strongest master of this hole. I'll demonstrate the power of being third to you. The power of being third, eh? I think I know what that feels like. Whoa! Uh, he was making sure one of us knew what it felt like. Incredibly thankful that that did not blow up in our face. Because, you know, it's a bottle rocket and, you know, it, it, it blows up. I uh, see what I did. Uh, I Two level ups. Three level ups. Everyone getting stronger. And the present he was guarding, Guts Capsule. I'm thinking, without a doubt, that goes on Ness. He's the one using his regular attack by far the most. I didn't mention it before, but as you would expect, you can light their fuses, and because they're not attached to any sort of bomb, there's just going to be none of them left by the time that finishes. 
They often stand in lines and they are weak to fire. It's the perfect setup for what you would want to do. Wow, Paula is very, very, very getting weak. It's time to use our PSI Caramel. I've been extremely sparing with them because I understand just how rare they are. If there's any place to use a PP restoring item, it's hands down inside of these mines. Give me that 22 PP. Good recovery right there. And I might as well take the secret herb along for good measure. The noose man hung our little teddy bear right in front of our innocent little eyes. That's gonna scar them for life, you know. Ooh, picnic lunch. And a croissant. Cool. We've gone every way out of this central area except to the bottom left. We came in through the uh, top left, so I guess we haven't gone back through there. Whoa! How did I avoid that fight? <laughs> I did that, and even I don't know how I accomplished that. <laughs> Give me a clean room. No, that's not a clean room. That's a very dirty room. It's filthy with all the victims that noose man had. Whoa! I guess they're all fighting to the death over who gets to hang the duck. Okay, this, these are weird interpretations of things. Oh, sheesh! Alright, gigantic and it is. I got that extra PP for a reason. I just didn't want to fight a huge group of enemies. Paula, do your stuff. Oh, whoa, whoa no, no, no. Don't do that stuff. Don't do that stuff. SMASH! There's that extra guts that I got! Good, good. Ness, you're doing fine. You can definitely heal yourself. Don't need to worry about that secret herb, even though I probably should have to free up some inventory space. Super Bomb! That is, just like the Big Bottle Rocket, a more powerful version of the bomb. Jeff can have a picnic lunch. After all, picnics are a very ethnic delicacy to those foggy landers. Because it's where they're originally from. So that must mean that, right? If and you want any of the item drops from any of these enemies, do not walk any further beyond this point. They will disappear from the world in the very near future. Now get ready for one of the greatest speeches ever uttered before a boss fight. Ha ha ha! You fought the strongest master of this hole, the second strongest master of this hole, the fourth strongest master of this hole, and the weakest master of this hole! I'm truly the third strongest master of this hole. Now you see the true advantage of being third. <laughs> Love you guys. So the reason why all these moles believe that they are the third strongest, there is a theory about that, though it has never officially been confirmed. It goes that these moles are all of equal strength. So they all had duels in every possible combination to see which one of them was the strongest before deciding that. And because they are equal in strength, on average, every mole would have won two fights and lost two fights out of the five of them. As a result of that, they all individually believe that winning two fights and losing two fights made them the third strongest master of these mines. I also just love calling them the, the five masters of the mines. That's what I've always called this section of the game, and uh, it, just, it sounds so cool. It's one of the coolest word combinations to describe, like, you know, just, I guess, anything in this game. Well, let me think. Um, the kidnapping waterfall rescue. No, I, I can't force it. I'm sorry. I'm not good at sounding cool, okay? It's probably not helped by the fact that I'm not cool. Ouch, no level ups even. And with the return of the not-so-great Dusty Dunes Desert music that sounds like something that a hillbilly would have on his car radio when there's no reception, there's a PSI Caramel and <laughs> Wow, it's almost like I know this game too well and I subconsciously used that item knowing that I would get another. Everything is free now. You can freely come and go. Hello, it's your dad. You've been out there for a long time now. Maybe none of business, but don't you think it'd be a good idea to take a break? No. I would say I don't think we're going to outdo Dr. Saturn, but stranger things have happened. They really have. I think I got every present. I don't think I'm missing anything. We're going to finally, at long last, use that exit mouse and get out of here right away. Now you get to see what it does.
Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say fuzzy pickles. Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. Always ready to swoop in. Literally. I'm happy. We made it through that without losing anybody. We didn't have to use that many items even. You've gotten rid of the monster. Good job. Okay, from here on, just let me dig. You'll see. I'll find the buried gold. Before I start digging, I'm going to set a careful plan of action. I thought the Byron voice was a little bit forced on any of his other texts besides that first one, and I think that voice suits him a lot better. It's how I've imagined him sounding throughout most of my life, and then Byron goes there tainting me. Don't read too far into that word choice, please. It's just kind of how I am. Don't read too far into that either! If there's one thing I want to do before heading around, because it doesn't seem like he's going to make any progress with this dig for a little while, I suggest buying a picnic lunch if you don't still have the one that you found inside of the mines. Buying a wet towel might not be a bad choice either. I know you're thinking that you have healing alpha and that you probably don't need it, but trust me, you do want to have one of those to make things... Eh, items can have multiple purposes. And speaking of items having multiple purposes, and wet towels for that matter, a lot of you were telling me that wet towels are used to bring down fevers with colds, and some of you were all like, come on, don't you even watch any anime? How do you not know that? And in truth, I don't really watch a lot of anime, but I get what you're saying. Cold water on the forehead can help make a fever feel a little bit nicer, but I still believe that that item is poorly programmed. I say that because every other healing item that's meant to cure one status, like cold remedy, for instance, is programmed to say, if the character has a cold, then remove it. That one is not programmed in that way, and its item description even says that it is only meant to cure heat stroke. The programming for that item just says when this item is used, use healing alpha on that character. To me, that sounds like they just got lazy with programming it, and, you know, it kind of does make for a nice explanation for why it does that. I still do think that it's a poorly programmed item that was not meant to do that. Check the bus schedule. Looks like the nest bus will be coming pretty soon. Okay, good. I didn't fail the 50-50 guess. I wasn't sure what side that was going to be. This bus goes to four side. I can't let you on if you don't pay the $6 for the fare. Yes. Okay, we're off. Game crash! No. Though it does look and sound like one. Ness, greetings! I'm George, Gerardo Montague's brother. Gerardo is in his mine, but he hasn't found any buried treasure yet. We did, however, find a diamond instead. Gerardo told me to give it to you. Oh no, I'm full of items, aren't I? Here it is, please take it. Hey, you've got- No! 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 Come back! I will throw a bomb out the window or something! Just come back! No! No! I have good reason for holding on to the ruler and protractor, guys. It's worth all the incon- Croissant's the worst healing item we have, and I don't think I need to hold on to it for any ulterior purpose. I just realized Ness has 300 HP exactly and 100 max PP exactly. That's- that looks special. Paula, shove this croissant down your gullet and make me a happy man. Oh, you actually needed it too. That works. If we could just find a diamond in it, it's a shame that a digger like me can't find buried gold. I'll try even harder. Well, he found a diamond and nobody told him. After riding the desert bus for hope all the way back here, it's a small house, but please stay the night. Y you are going to give me the diamond, aren't you? Here, I'll give you this now, for sure. He just wanted to emotionally torture me even further, so he made a sleep on that bed with the spring sticking out before giving me the diamond. Diamond! A big, beautiful, and expensive looking gem. She's aggressively waiting for the bus. Truly the pinnacle of super villainy. Oh, I didn't walk through the cr I gotta go back and do that right. Come on. Come on. They designed this place for people who walk on the pathways because you can't get around that stoplight without walking off of the path. See, I know me some lore. Please have your tickets ready. Do we still have a show ticket? Or is it gone after one use? I don't see it in there, but regardless, I need to go get rid of some items, so I'll be right back.
The Escargo Express can take my picnic lunch, my wet towel, and my ruler. I want those items, don't need them for a little while. Making me pay $30 just to see the manager. I see how it is, that's how you keep out the, that's how you weed out all the complaints. It's the future of show business. The show will be starting any minute, he says. However, what a what? I can't tell what it is from this distance. Bring it closer. Oh man, the diamond's that small. Really? Eh, well. Take it anyway. Yay! The, 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 the diamond! You're gonna be paying with that diamond? Oh, okay, that, that, that's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll rip up this contract. Rip. Don't tell anyone about the diamond. Now they're running my five for free. You should, you should thank me. That diamond is worth maybe, maybe fifty dollars. So I give you a bargain. I made a lots of money. Sorry about being such troublemakers. We won't be so gullible anymore. Well, our fans are waiting, baby. Let's just do this one last show and then get out of here. Alright, thanks again. Money, that's what I want. Money, that's what is hot. Money, that's what I want. Money, it's what we ain't got, except freedom. Freedom, freedom's what we really sought. Money, that's what I want. Money, that's what is hot. Money, that's what I want. Thank you. Just like they say, they got one final farewell performance that they want to do for us. Boys and girls, ladies and gents, this is a very special show. The final Runaway Vibe show here at the Topola. Please, please, please don't miss this once in a lifetime chance to see their show. D you can buy tickets behind the counter? Oh, he doesn't say anything funny if you say no. I was hoping that I'd catch him in a contradiction. Welcome to the final Runaway Five performance at the Topola Theater. It's gonna be a great show. We're so good it makes me think that those kids by the exit will wet their pants. Those kids are hip, baby. Following the show, where Ness totally turned away from the stage because he was embarrassed and wanted to hide his face with the announcer saying that, Ah, you're a friend of the 1-Away-5. Did you come to see Miss Venus? Come inside quickly. Don't let the other fans see you enter. We heard about a Miss Venus back in Tucson where we met her mother hearing that she had left to the big city to become a singer. Oh, you're just a little kid. I'm too busy right now to give you my autograph. Maybe next time, little man. I got shot down by V Venus. Ah. Unfortunately, not all musicians are immediately willing to become your friend. The Runaway Five set your child expectations a little bit too high. Oh, I can't see the Runaway Five here anymore. I should dump the sorry excuse of a man and become a Runaway Five groupie. Right with an earshot, he says, I heard Venus made an appearance at the Runaway Five show. I missed her because I went to the bathroom. I hate bathrooms. With, I'll hate bathrooms for the rest of my life. <laughs> That's a good line, but uh, it's a good thing you weren't the one to wet your pants. Oh, hi. Are you enjoying yourself? Oh, I like how he says, oh, hi. We're probably not going to see him again. Well, that is the Runaway 5 out of debt once more. If we go back into the Topola, 
We can buy show tickets, indeed. But not for the Runaway Five. Venus is the act that replaces them. We're not gonna see her, however. Not after she treated us like that. That's all for now. Next time on Earthbound, we see what else there is to do around the city of Foresight. See you guys then.